This episode is brought to you by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Tropical Smoothie Cafe believes that you deserve a little vacay every day, not just once a year. Get on Tropic Time with bright and refreshing smoothies, Tropic Bowls, wraps, and flatbreads from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. You're on Tropic Time now at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Fan favorite summer mocktail smoothies just hit the pool deck at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Summer mocktail smoothies are back and more refreshing than ever. Try the fan favorites Island Punch, Mango Berry Cosmo, or Watermelon Mojito smoothies today. One bite of the Tropical Bowls, from Tropical Smoothie Cafe, and you'll instantly feel like your cabana side. Enjoy sunshine by the spoonful with the acai bowl from Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Hello, and welcome to Catfish Trash Talk. This is episode 96. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, Noel Winters Herzog. Hello. Hi, we're here to talk about... Um, okay, also, this is what I want to talk about. Okay. I looked at... Um, to see what season, to see what episode. It just says season eight now. Now we're back to season eight. Oh, really? Yeah, so we're here to talk about season eight, no episode, Cody and Brittany. When I remember seeing the coming attractions and seeing this, and it's like, hello? I know who this girl is. Yeah, of course. It's so funny. All right, so we start the episode. Well, before we start the episode, actually, yeah. um, if you guys are listening to this, you are a part of the Patreon. You're a patron. <laughs> You're a patron, and so what it, we're doing every other episode on Patreon. Well, well we're going to do some on Patreon, some not. Uh, that works. Just, there's no rhyme or reason. We're, so. No, it's just whatever we feel like. It's whatever we feel like. Um, you'll get what you get, and mm-hmm. that's how it goes. Um, make sure you buy tickets to our live podcast on November 11th at 4 p.m. in New York City as part of the New York City Comedy Festival. It's going to be amazing. We're honestly going to have the best time. TracyCarnazzo.com for tickets. I mean, I'm probably going to wear a bustier. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> we're going to have to censor the video. When we go to Burlington tomorrow, I'll pick Great. it out. <laughs> Great. Oh, real fancy one. Um, So we start the episode with Neve and Cammie. Ne- uh, Cammie took a food sensitivity test, and she has 38 mild food allergies. I was like, well, this is a test I'm never taking. This is a test I'm never taking, but this is a test like, oh, wow. So you're 2% allergic to chicken. You know what I mean? It's not going to do anything for you. I know, you. but it's like that now every time I eat chicken, I'm going to have a panic attack. Right. Well, I would never take this test because I don't yeah. want to know. She's like, white potato? Shut up. I would, listen, I would still eat a white potato. I know you would. <laughs> um, so we meet Pam. Her grandson, Cody, is 32. He's a long haul trucker in Wyoming. Mm-hmm. He's been dating Brittany, but never met her. She lives in California and they only text. They can't video chat. She was supposed to meet Cody in Arizona at Pam's house, but she got into an accident and she flipped her car. Of course she did. He has sent her lots of money and they call mm-hmm. Pam mm-hmm. and they're like, Hey Pam, what's up with Cody? She's like, don't call him. He's driving. He'll crash into a tree. Love that. I'm glad that she has a lot of faith in him, <laughs> but she's going to, make sure that in a few days they could all meet up in Wyoming. Right. So we show up in Wyoming and Pam and Dick (laughs) are in, this is like a fake story. I know. Pam and Dick are in their RV and they raised him from 12 to 18. And Dick is like, this is our retirement. And I'm like, oh my God, how cute. Right. So (laughs) she said that they raised him from 12 to 18 and he's too trusting. You didn't raise him good. I will say that you didn't do a good job. You might've kept him alive. Do you think that if someone else raised him, he'd be different? I don't think so. Mm. I think this might be inherently who he is. You think that this is uh, nature and not nurture? Yes. Yes. Okay. I do think this is nature. Okay. I can tell well, by his haircut. It's nature. <laughs> I can tell by his mustache. <laughs> so she said that he's, quote, missing the gene that makes you suspicious. He's definitely missing a gene. I was going to say, I think he's missing a couple of genes. Okay. So he shows up. Mm hmm. Do you think that right before he got there, he was cleaning off all the ducks in the oil spill? Tracy, what is with his car heart? He should buy a new one and then return the old one. He should get Dawn. It takes the oil off the ducks. It should take it off of his jacket. It does. While he's duck washing, he should jacket wash. He should power wash his car heart. Oh, my God. Um, But then we meet a nice dog. Okay. Yes. The very happy dog, too. And Cammy's like, I want to meet the dog. I know. So uh, he says 95% of his time, he's on the road. Great. Okay, that's a long time. So that's you're just, time. you live in your truck. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, but when he met Brittany, he was working at Taco Bell, not trying to impress you guys, but right. <laughs> she had come through the drive-thru 
And right. then she hit him up on Snapchat three to four weeks later. But he recognized her as the girl from the drive through. And he was like, hey, you're the girl from the drive through. And she's like, yes, that was me. I was in Wyoming at Taco Bell going through the drive through. But I live in California. I had an ex-boyfriend in Wyoming and I had a burrito. Remember? And he's like, uh, duh. But that's not the way Snapchat works. Yeah, but he had his Taco Bell uniform on in his picture. But how would she have found him? Did she write drive through guy? Yeah, it she work. wrote Taco Bell picture. Right. And then it found him. Right. That's why it's like, I don't understand this. What don't you understand? Well, how she found him on Snapchat. Taco like how Bell he thinks she found him on Snapchat. Okay. The thing is, I don't think he's doing a ton of thinking. That's the problem. He doesn't. I think he's do doing. I think he's doing five percent thinking when he's not on the road. Yeah, I think he doesn't want to do any thinking. Right. He said that mm-hmm. it started off on Snapchat. It went to G Chat and then to text messaging. What is G Chat exactly? Like a Google chat. Aim? Yeah. Okay. For Google. Okay. Um, that's what we used to wor- use at work sometimes. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. A lot of things are changing, Noelle. And with big wireless providers, what you see is never what you get. Somewhere between the store and your first month's bill, the price you thought you were paying magically skyrockets. But with Mint Mobile, you'll never have to worry about gotchas ever again. When Mint Mobile says $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, they mean it. Crazy. I have gotten got by so many cell phone providers. Noelle, that's the story of my life. Right? It's like, it's like, oh, you'll get three months free. And next thing you know, I have a four hundred dollar bill the next month. And it's like, hold up. Did this happen? And it's like fees. Oh, this fee. Yes. Oh, this C. Yeah. It sucks. Well, say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans starting at 15 bucks a month. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all of your existing contacts. Ditch overpriced wireless with Mint Mobile's deal and get three months of premium wireless service for 15 bucks a month. I I was skeptical and I switched over and it's real. You love it, right? You love it. I mean, it's it's 15 bucks a month. That I have never heard of any cell phone service being $15 a month. Well, to get this new customer offer, you and your new three-month premium wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash catfish. That's mintmobile.com slash catfish. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash catfish. $45 upfront payment required equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three-month plan only. Speed slower above 40 GB on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. And as always, it will be right down there in the show notes. He likes her because she is kind and gentle. Now, I will tell you, this is a please. This is a first for Catfish. He didn't say she likes listening to my problems. Oh, well, that is true. And I was like, but I think you like her for a lot of different assets that she has. I think he likes her giant garbanzo beans. Yeah, I think the garbanzo beans on top, the garbanzo uh, beans on the bottom, yes. the salad, the dinner. Mm, I love salad. <laughs> so he knows for a fact that she flipped her car when she was coming to Arizona because he has pics proving, number one, that the car was flipped, and number two, that she was in the hospital because he saw the bills because mm-hmm. he asked her for proof. Come on. It looks like this car is in a parking lot. Like, that's the problem. Yeah, right. right. But it's like, guy, come on. All right. And, now, well, and, and you know, he wants to buy a truck from her uncle. He is buying it. He's a, he doesn't want to. He oh, is yeah, he buying is. a truck yeah. through her uncle. He got a stock picture of a truck. <laughs> it is in Florida. So what happens is he sent $10,000 to her aunt and now $500 a month. And then when the truck's paid off, then they release it to him. That's can how you, trucks work. Can you believe this guy? Like, for real. Can you believe this? Mm-hmm. Where are all of these? Because I have eyes. That's why I believe it. I can't believe this. I could absolutely believe it. It's like you're sending money to her aunt for a truck that you've never seen in person, although she lives in Los Angeles. Yes. But you're sending it to Tallahassee. Like, make it make sense. He sends it to Aunt Edna and he uses (laughs) Western Union and Walmart to Walmart. Okay. So that means like you send it from Walmart, you get it at Walmart. Yeah, it's, it's, that just, really what, it's Walmart's Western Union. Okay. Yeah. 
So he has to pay off the truck before it could come because that's what happens to cars when you finance them. Do you know mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. But like you can't pay it while you have it. Mm no, you can't. Yeah. It's illegal. So. so what's his I would love to know what his plan is for getting the truck. Well, um, first mm -hmm. he sent her three to four thousand dollars for food. Mm -hmm. And then they did this really cute thing where it's like being blood brothers. And we have to exchange licenses and social security numbers. But it makes you closer. I wouldn't know what to do with someone's social security number. <laughs> you know no, what I mean? You're not a you're not a scammer. Yeah, it's so crazy. You open you open a credit card. That's what you do. Yeah, it's so great. Right. And that's why they have his license. Right. So this woman photoshops a license <laughs> with her forehead sliced off. It's sliced off. How did but how doesn't he notice? He doesn't care. Also, is it a license picture in black and white? My picture is in black and white. Noel. Yeah. That's not the problem. <laughs> well, it's my problem. There's no, there's color. There's color. Photos is there? Because sure. mm -hmm. I now, know there used to be. My picture was. Yeah. But now it's black and white. Mm, interesting. Um, Cammy screams. <laughs> Cammy Cody, can't take any of this. Cody, this woman ordered a chalupa from you? And he goes, <laughs> no, a burrito. <laughs> Cammy is having her. a hard time in this episode. I know. So mm -hmm. he's like, yeah, no, no. He loves, I love her. So mm -hmm. they feel bad for him and they find her on Instagram. She has 4 million followers. She's the girl right. from Rock of Love. And yeah, it's Britannia. She was my favorite on Rock of Love. She's so nice. And she has these dimple piercings. Yeah. They're the cutest things ever. It's so weird. Um, And she fell in love with Corey, Cody, whatever his name is. She fell in love with Cody. Um, and everything's going to work out for them. Yes. So she's like, listen, I'll FaceTime him. Don't worry about right, it. Right. Right. So they tell him what they find and he doesn't get it. His ego won't let him get it. We were talking about this before. Okay. So they're like, okay, here's the thing. This girl mm -hmm. is using fake pictures mm -hmm. and it's not her. And they're like, well, if, he, if she's a reality star, mm -hmm. she was on Rock of Love. Like, why didn't she tell you that? Mm -hmm. He's like, well, I didn't ask. The way he said it, yeah. so cocksure of himself, yes. made my brain explode. Yep. Why is it the, no offense, least looking good guys? This is on Patreon. Why do, why do fucking ugly guys have egos <laughs> like this? What there is with the ego? What is with the ego? What is with the ego? This guy thinks he is the shit. And he thinks he landed Britannia. Are you out of yeah. your mind? Yeah. Are you really? Like, he's like, oh, I didn't ask you for it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. He made me so mad. Because any ugly guy I ever gave a chance in my life was the meanest guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but every good looking guy wasn't mean. It's very mm -hmm. weird. You Although know, they're all terrible people, they're all, but they're men. <laughs> they're all terrible. What a terrible race. That's that's the that's the uh gene he's not missing. Yes, agree. He's the man he is gene. not missing the man ego gene. Yeah, he is <laughs> missing the uh the jacket gene. He has very purple lips. It does something scary to me. <laughs> Maybe he drinks a lot feel of wine scared. On, the, on the rig. <laughs> a lot of grape soda. This episode is brought to you by Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Tropical Smoothie Cafe believes that you deserve a getaway every day, not just once a year. And summer mocktail smoothies are here for a limited time at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Mocktail hour on the pool deck is a sip away. Nothing says summer like a tropical mocktail smoothie. Fan favorites Island Punch, Mango Berry Cosmo, and Watermelon Mojito smoothies are on deck at Tropical Smoothie Cafe for a limited time. Does it get more refreshing than that, Noelle? Join Tropical Smoothie Cafe for a pineapple, mango, and watermelon soiree all summer long. Grab a refreshing Island Punch, Mango Berry Cosmo, and Watermelon Mojito mocktail smoothie and meet us poolside. You're on Tropic Time now at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. <laughs> All right, so um, they find a hundred profiles for Edna. I know that's crazy, but old people do that though. Yeah, but this is a scammy thing. Yeah, uh huh. So they text this person he's been texting, and they're like, "Where are you? <laughs> Where?" Uh, they text her, and she goes, "Where are you located? And do you need my services?" Right. So, what was your first thought? Um, I'm like, "Is this a hooker?" I thought like sex worker. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's like, my is... first thought. Okay, so they're like. OK, we're with Cody. And it's like, I do think that they gave up too much too soon. So do I. I would have been like, well, how much are your Which, services or what? What's yes, services? how much? Right. 
Okay. Like, right. So, are you talking about deep cleaning my area rug in my oh, house? Oh, I would love that. Right. What is your service? Imagine, imagine they, they texted her and then she really did come and clean. I would be yeah, like, I'll win, come win. detail your car. Okay. Win, win. Right. I need to know what services. Cammy's like, can we see a menu? It's like, yeah, right? I want to see a menu. Yeah, I want to see a menu. What are yeah. my options? <laughs> I can't say no without knowing what I'm saying no to. Me too. I can't. Thank you. So she said that she's too busy to meet. And mm -hmm. they said that she's been scamming. And she's like, okay, fine. I'll meet in Denver. And I love him. Right. So, okay. She's supposed to be in Los Angeles, right? Yes. I'm so confused. Not Florida. Aunt's supposed to be in Florida. Aunt is Edna. in Florida. Okay. Now, okay. Cammy's like, okay, listen to me, Cody. <laughs> she don't love you. He's like, yes, she does. And he's like, this isn't what love feels like. And it's like, that is so true, Cammy. Okay. So he claims that he blocked her. You think he blocked her? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I have to tell you, guys like him are whacked. Yeah. He might well, be like, I could do better anyway, because I have right. Kim Kardashian hitting me up, too. <laughs> He's like, I could do better anyway. Look at my glasses that I could, my sunglasses that I could clip right onto my real Look glasses. at these purple lips. I could sell this stain. Did you see his clip on sunglasses? Oh, of course I did. He had Dwayne Wade sunglasses. Yeah. So she said that she can't take off from work because she can't lose $2,000. So they're like, okay, we'll cover your tips. And she's like, okay, send it to me now. Thank you so much. <laughs> when she said that, I'm like, this is Tracy. They're actually mm -hmm. talking to Tracy. Literally. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Send yeah. me two grand. Send it now, though. Yeah. Send it first. Send it now or I'm never going to answer a text from you. <laughs> I know some guy asked me recently. He was like, I need you to send me videos shaming my small dick. And I'm oh. like, okay. Yeah. I'm like, here's my Venmo. And he's like, I could pay $10 a video. And I was like, well, you're in the wrong market, my yeah, friend. Yeah, you're wasting my time. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. He's like, well, I'm in college. I was like, well, get a fucking job. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Is this an Instagram DM? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very nice. He saw me on a podcast. Anyway. Cute. <laughs> don't say I don't have fans. No, you do. That's yeah. wonderful, fans. That's good. <laughs> That's something to fall back on in case I know. Fail. I was like, maybe Noelle will do it for 10 bucks, though. She's not busy. I know. I, I my standards for money are much lower than yours. I know we I know. learned that recently. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me, you, and Adrian, we learned yeah, that about we me. Learned that. Yep. <laughs> no, I was like, I'll do it for I don't know ten bucks. Yeah, okay. I'll do. I'll. How about a three for ten dollar bundle? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that's too much. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. And then we can get Nick to edit the videos. Oh, God. I, he would love that, too. Oh, man. Poor Nick. So um, she's like, how about you send me a thousand now and a thousand later? They're like, how about that. you go fuck yourself? So they're in Denver. Now, whose fault is this, though? That they went to Denver? Yeah. Their fault. OK, just checking. Because why didn't they just say, OK, we'll fly to L.A.? You're in L.A.? We'll fly to L.A. Why do we have to drive to Denver? Right. So Neve texts her from Denver and... She's like, okay, I'll meet in the morning. Right. Okay. He secretly calls Pam and Dick for backup. I'm glad that he called them. And he's like, meet us in Denver. And they're like, yeah, I mean, we have your RV. We could go wherever Yeah, we we'll want. drive the camper. So they're coming. So he texts her and he's like, you know what? Forget about meeting. Mm -hmm. Whatever. You're a scam artist. You're not coming so, anyway. So the person's like, check your WhatsApp. And it's like, how dare you take my client away? And then they say... Omoba, which is Nigerian. Right. So he's like, oh, it's a Nigerian scam. And he's like, OK. Um, And he's like, oh, man, I got scammed. And everyone's like, oh, man. And they're like, just tell us next time. And he's like, I should get a new phone. And it's like, yeah, that will fix everything. He's like, I should smash my phone. Yeah. Oh, phone. yeah. Oh, wow. A baseball Why you just bat. change your number? He's like, I should get a new phone. And it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. it's probably inside of your phone. You probably have bugs inside of your right. phone. That's what it is. And they're like, you could change your phone number. This was a very expensive lesson. Oh, come on. Two months later, he has a dog in the truck. I know. It's like, so now you live with the dog? In a truck? Yeah, in a truck. I don't He's think got that's his good nice for the dog. headset. I know, but I don't think this is good for the dog. I don't think so either. But I guess he wanted a companion. Yeah, I know. But I just feel like you got to walk a dog, not drive a dog. Maybe you stop and walk it while driving. <laughs> I mean, but isn't the whole point to just keep driving? You would think. Do you think he walks it in the back of the truck while maybe he just he's walks it while in he's driving? Uh huh. He got a dog named Lewis. Is this real? I hope not. But like we went from I need my tip money to a Nigerian scammer. Like, how did that happen? I don't understand. Yeah. And then that's it. 
we just right. assume that it's a Nigerian scammer. Right. And we're just satisfied. I mean, and last now time it's just it was over. In, now, last time it was a Nigerian scammer, we got to FaceTime with them. Y- yes, we did. And it's like, I don't know. I just don't understand what one thing has to do with another. So suddenly, why are we just so trusting? But like he's talking every day to this person. Next that time I scam someone. Right. And also yeah. this is illegal. Next time right. I scam someone. Who's Edna? Edna's a real person accepting this money with an ID. That's what I want to know. Also, did Britannia really go through his drive through? <laughs> That's what I want to oh, know, too. He's but crazy. why didn't he ask her? Why didn't he be like, did you drive through my drive through in Cheyenne, he Wyoming? He's full of shit. Yeah. She was a mirage. It was so. <laughs> It's just so weird. I none of this makes sense. I feel like this can't be real. It might be something's happening outside of my house. What's happening? It's like like the police are like come outside, come out with your hands up, like that kind of Oh, an arrest? Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but it can't be good. Yeah. Uh-uh. I don't know if they're telling saying Tracy come out with your hands up. All right, yeah, Tracy come out cuz you're the Nigerian scammer. <laughs> oh my that god, got so Cody. Scared. They're like, "Are you <laughs> illegally podcasting in there?" Look on Citizen. I am, think? but there's nothing here. Hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Anyway, all right. Well, I guess we're all going to die. Um whatever. Life sucks. tracycarnazo.com. <laughs> Time's not real. No. tracycarnazo.com. Goodbye. Bye.